this to my list a while ago, and I didn't even know it was a CW project. But became pretty clear when I watched it, because Stephen Amell and Grant Gustin. Um, overall, I did not care for this movie, even though I'm a huge Vixen fan. I loved being able to play as her in Injustice 2. I just wish she was an actual character and not an alt attire, but it was still really cool. Anyways, this movie felt very convoluted and didn't seem like it knew where it was going. They had like this one random line about how this dude is going to be in Africa a year later so they can make this whole thing of her being more experienced and shit like that and then she can kind of confronts him and then it's just kind of over with and there's this big battle with a dude that was kind of mentioned earlier and teams up with her sister her sister sacrifices herself and then a happy ending and her teaming up with green arrow and all that they actually referred to him as the arrow and green arrow so which one are you going for because from my understanding, I don't think he was ever referred to as Green Arrow in the show. He's more serious and more like Batman than he is Green Arrow. Since Green Arrow is a jokester. But from what I've heard, he's more like Batman in his show. I only watched a few episodes like a long time ago. Maybe it's something I should eventually watch, but... It's eight whole seasons, and it's not something like regular show, and it's short... Because I, I know someone probably would have brought that up and now I watched all eight seasons of regular show. Anyways. I do think the actor for Vixen was perfect. She did a great job in this movie. The movie's just a mess. I did not know where it was going at all. Since the people that made this project usually do TV shows. So they clearly didn't know what to do with a movie. <laughs> But, yeah, I think they did portray Vixen pretty well. Just, it just really wasn't that good. Overall boring at times. We do get the Atom and Black Canary for a little bit near the end. And, um, that's really about it. Green Arrow disappears for half the movie. Then he shows up near the end. Flash disappears for a bit, and then we see him when they take down Weatherman, or whatever he was called. Weather Wizard, yeah, Weather Wizard, and then after that, um, Flash is gone until the end, too. At times, it's kind of corny, too. But I do think the actor for Vixen did a good job. But that is really my only compliment for this movie. 